When you're browsing through the usual ISIS propaganda, RPGs, black flags, mayhem, you might also stumble on this. It is a workout video for jihadis, featuring a young man who introduces himself as Islam Yakan. But it turns out this was not his first exercise video. Before the jihad in Syria, there was the gym in Egypt. Back then, Islam was religious, but his interests were far from extreme. We wanted to find out how someone could change so dramatically. So we spoke to Islam's close friends in Cairo. Hossam Atif, who worked out with Islam, talked about feeling alienated in post-revolution Egypt. Khaled Aydel, who went to school with Islam, said they struggled for balance in a society that's modern, yet deeply defined by religion. All three were young, middle class, and torn. But only Islam joined ISIS. Islam grew up in the middle class neighborhood of Heliopolis, attending a French language school and later Ain Shams University, where he studied law. He spent most of his free time working out with friends like Hossein. Hossein first met Islam online in 2009 asking to photograph him for a bodybuilding blog. At the gym, Islam worked out relentlessly, his goal a career in personal training. Hossein was drawn to portrait photography. He took these pictures of Islam. Both were ambitious, but restless. <laughs> Khaled and Islam were not particularly observant, but religion was always present in their lives. So sinning led to guilt, especially when it came to women. <laughs> Khaled shot this video of Islam and another friend, Mahmoud pretending to host a show about the temptation of sex and girls. They called it piety and chicks. <laughs> Islam's dilemma deepened when he lost a close friend, Moheb, in a motorcycle accident in March 2012. Islam turned inwards. Hossein took his camera to the street, covering the uncertain course of Egypt's revolution for local papers. Khaled took a job at a trendy mall near Islam's home. They pursued different interests, but they remained friends. Islam adopted a more stern look, but around friends and family, he was still playful, even as he became more religious. Islam 
While his friends wavered, Islam was firm in his decision, dedicating this life to God. He prayed more frequently at a neighborhood mosque, led by a tolerant imam, Sheikh Ramadan Fadl. أحببتي إن أنا يعني أخليه يعني معنا في المسجد برضو يصلي وكذا فأشرت عليه بحفظ القرآن. Islam memorized a third of the Quran over the next year, but he wanted an even more definitive view of life, so he turned to the popular teachings of ultra-conservative preachers like Sheikh Muhammad Hussein Yaqub. الطالب الذي يحب زميلته في الكلية لا لمسها ولا كلمها ولا كلمها في التليفون ولا بعت لها رسالة ولا بيبصلها بيحبها وخلاص لأنها منتقبة زينة زينة هذا زينة القلب وفكر في موقف كده ما كنا ماشيين في الشارع أنا وهو لا واحدة يعني لازم واحدة ست ماشية قدام ليه مسك إيدي كده ليه تبي بقوله في يبني مالك فيه قال ما عايش حد بس مش عايز ابص خليها هي ورا يعني مش عايز ابص عليها من قدام معاكم اسلام ياكن بما اني ساكن عند قطر التحدية والنهارده مظاهرات في الدنيا مقلوبه للاسف الجيم كان قافل وكان عندي ظهر وباي اسلام واتشد از ايجيبت اسندد انتو تيرمويل اند فيلت لايك ذا كونتري درفتد فاردر اند فاردر فروم هيز فيجن فور ا ترو اسلاميك ستيت ذا ايجيبشن ارمي فورست ذا مسلم براذرهود فروم باور انليشينج فايلنس ان ذا ستريتس Hossam was caught in some of the deadly clashes and soon after gave up protesting for change. كنت حاسس ان انا ماليش قيمه ممكن اموت عادي خالص. حاجات كتير انت مش هتعرفي تغيريها. مش عشان انت ضعيفه. عشان انت انت مالكيش دور اصلا. Then in August 2013, Islam went into seclusion during Ramadan. at a mosque surrounded by protests. After 10 days of worship, he returned with a newfound purpose. And days later, he left again, this time for Syria. He never said goodbye to family or friends. قلت طب جايز الواحد يستنى شويه كده يشوف هو هيعمل ايه يعني احنا دايما كنا مستنيين الابديت بتاع اسلام. Islam joined ISIS, adopting the nom de guerre Abu Salma. Since then, he has filled his social media accounts with images of brutality and death. He says he will only return to Egypt as a conqueror to bring the country under the fold of the Islamic State. And his tweets candidly incite acts of terror around the world. The friends he left behind struggled to understand Islam's path. Khalid is now a senior salesman at the toy store. Hossam reinvented himself as a wedding photographer and often wonders where his life will lead. يعني حاسين ان احنا هنا مدفونين يعني يعني ما لما يعني مهما دماغنا كانت حلوه وبقينا كريتيف الناس هنا بتقتلنا بتفكير بال بالعادات بتاعتها بالروتين بتاعهم يعني. احنا عايزين نطلع بره الروتين شويه مش عارف ساعات بحس اللي هو انا ممكن ابقى كده